Tonight, a mother reacts to the news that her son's bus driver was fired after a suspected DUI crash earlier this week. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark's live in the newsroom now. Michael, this mom says her son was dropped off about 45 minutes before this wreck. Yeah, and he was one of 35 students who had been on Mark Pierce's bus Wednesday on a route from Spain Park High School. All had been dropped off by the time of the crash, leaving parents to wonder what could have happened. Brock texted me from the bus right after he got on and had said, you know, hey, mom, we've got a new bus driver. Our old bus driver was arrested. Angela Isley remembers hearing about a suspected DUI bus crash Wednesday night, but didn't know it was her son's driver until the next day, going back over news footage. And I went and was looking back and saw the video of it showing the side of the bus that had the 0701 on it. And I know, you know, knowing that was his bus, it's very... I was petrified and then I was angry. Since September, Mark Pierce has been a driver for Hoover City Schools. It is my recommendation that you terminate Mr. Mark Pierce, a probationary bus driver. Until he was fired by the school board today. With the buses not having the seat belts, with the safety, you know, it's already, you know, scary enough. And then knowing that he could have killed my son or injured my son, those thoughts go through your head. The school district says Pierce's route is typically an hour and 20 minutes, with the bus usually returning to Spain Park High School by 5. The crash happened shortly before then on Interstate 459, about 45 minutes after Isley says her son was dropped off. To me, that says either he was extremely drunk before he got to the school to pick him up, or he was drinking on the bus. Neighbors who travel in the area and parents like Isley both relieved Pierce will no longer be driving Hoover students. That makes me feel better. Um, and now I guess it's what do you do to prevent it from happening again? We put our kids on the bus. We send them to schools. People that's supposed to be adult and taking care of them, you know, supposed to be treating them like they're theirs. And then something like this happens. Now, investigators say Pierce's BAC was 0.15. The school district tells me they did send a note to parents this afternoon telling them all precautions are being taken for the safety and well being of students. Live in the newsroom tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.